Okay, coming back around here. <laughs> okay. Now I took that um, that piece of lead here, and I um, just kind of uh, worked it across the surface. I've been scraping. Let's have a look at it. Uh, get this uh, machine out of gear so I can rotate the spindle for you. We'll have a look here at this point. See how's that light looking in there? I think that's that that's probably okay. Okay, let me get it out of back here in the neutral. I can rotate that spindle and you can kind of see what we're at here at this point. <clears throat> it's kind of looked a little bit different with that satiny finish. See, so you can see the damages. Okay. Now, one of the culprits, uh, let's see if that's showing up. The uh, This is the high spot here. There's kind of a culprit right here. There's actually kind of an embedded hard piece of metal in that little dent there. And... Uh, when you run over it with a scraper, it kind of starts smoothing it up. And, but that was a little bit of a trouble spot. Okay. Let's do this now. Ah, yeah, I've wasted too much time. See where we're at. We'll try this. Try that. <laughs> now, I got this indicator. It's kind of hard to read. Uh, but it's about the only one I can get in there. Let's see if I can get you in there. Uh, pretty good. We can try that anyway. Okay, let's see. I might have to move the light here a little bit. And let's get that collar chuck in there. There we go. Okay. And then. Oh. Let's see where we're at with run out at this point. Okay. How's that looking? Looking pretty good. Let's see if we can get this dial indicator in there. I hope you can read that. Uh, it looks like I got it pretty good. I'll start rolling around here, see where we're at. I think that... Okay. One... Two... Three. That's, let's see, let's try this again. Might have a little bit something stuck on there. Because it's doing a little bit better. Yeah, it feels kind of funny. Hold on. I'm going to clean it a little bit. Flip that out the long way. this back in there. You make it really clean. I want to drag that wrapping stuff in there. All right, let's see what that does. And roll it over a little bit, kind of get an idea where we're at here. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's more like it, see? Just about a thousandths and a half, but I gotta adjust these spindle bearings, and I'm gonna stop right here, um, fitting this in. And what do we got? One thousandth, just a thousandths and a half. I got it from three thousandths, three and a half thousandths, to a thousandths and a half at this point. I need to adjust the spindle bearings. There's about maybe a thousandths and a half play. So right now is the time to stop. And I'm going to put the face cutter back in. And I want to cut some uh, material to put a load on the spindle uh, before I make uh, the spindle bearing adjustment. So we can do a cut. And at this point, and see if we can get a better finish than this one. Okay? So, uh, that's the path we're on. So, I got it twice more better. <laughs> and I, I have a feeling that once I get the spindle bearings uh, adjusted, I'll get this to a couple of tenths run out. It's just the way it is. Okay, I'm going to load this video and uh, uh, continue on some other things here.